What up, people? I just found out something neat because I am now a YouTuber. According to another teacher, some students create a YouTube name and they now call me It's Your Boy, Mr. Noland. So we're, from now on, it's going to be hashtag It's Your Boy, Mr. Noland. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. So today we're going to be talking about percent of change. If you looked at homework 6.1a and 6.1b, the last four questions were the percent of change questions, which I have not taught you, but I wanted you to at least try it. Remember, I did guide you on a couple of them. So here's how you do percent of change. On your test, there are two different answers you're going to have for each question. One of the answers you have to tell me, is it an increase or a decrease? And then the other answer will actually be a percentage answer. So if we look at number one, the World Future Society predicts that by the year 2020, airplanes will be able to carry 1,400 passengers. Today's biggest jet can carry 500 passengers. What will be the percent of change of airplane passengers? I like to start off with, is it an increase or a decrease? Well, some of y'all are going to say, well, to go from 1,400 to 500, that's a decrease. Well, that would be right, except for you didn't read the question correctly. Today, it can hold up to 500 people. So that's the original. In the year 2020, it can hold up to 1,400. That's the new. So to go from your original to your new, to go from 500 to 400, was that an increase or was that a decrease? Well, that's an increase. So you solve part of the problem. Now here's how you do the percent of change doing the math. The first thing you have to do is find the difference from the original to the new. be nice if I can spell difference. After you find the difference from the original to the new, you put the difference over the original information. So, the difference from 500 to 1400. So let's see, 1400 minus 500. That's 900. So the difference from the original to the new is 900. What was the original information? How much can the jet carry originally? Originally, it can carry 500. Well, guess what? You now have a fraction, don't you? From here, all you do is top in, bottom out. You're dividing. Okay? So let's see here. I can actually get rid of these zeros at the back. And now look, I got single digits. I can, I can divide by single digits. So top in, bottom out. Can 5 go into 9? Yes, it can, one time. Can 5 go into 4? No, it cannot, so you have to add your decimal now. Notice the decimal is after the one hole. And you add your zero down here. Can 5 go into 40? Yes, it can. Eight times. So now you have a decimal of 1.8. But how do you turn a decimal into a percent? Well, you move the decimal two places to the right. Oh, well, did you look at that? You now have 180%. And it was an increase. So notice your two answers. You have the increase and you have your percent. You will have to do both of these on your test next Wednesday and Thursday. Let's try another one. Let's try number three. Jasmine bought a computer which was originally priced at $350 and it's now on sale for $273. What is the percent of change? Okay, so the first step, let's see if it's an increase or a decrease. Originally, it cost 
after the sale, it went down to 273. So to go from 350 to 273, was that an increase or a decrease? Well, you went down, so that's a decrease. All right. Now here are the steps. You have to find the difference from the original to the new. That's step one. Step two is you're going to put that over the original information given, over the original number. So let's see if we can do that. Let's find the difference. 350 minus 273. Oh, that's a 10. That becomes a 4. Let's see here. 7. 77. Okay, so your difference from 350 to 273 is 77. What was the original price? The original price was 350. Well, look at this. We now have a fraction. So, tie bow, top in, bottom out. Can 350 go into 77? No, it cannot. So you're going to add a decimal and add your zero. How many times can 350 go into 770? Well, 350 plus 350 is 700, so it can go in there two times. You have a remainder of 70. Add another zero. Again, 350 can go into 700 two times. Oh, well, look at that. There's your decimal. Now take your decimal, move it two places to the right, and there's your percent. It's a 22% decrease. Look how easy this is. So there's only a couple steps. Let's see. The first step is to determine increase or decrease. Second step is to find the difference from the original to the new. The third step is to put the difference over the original. The fourth step is to divide top and bottom out. And the fifth step is to just move your decimal two places to the right. So there are five steps in order to get two answers. All right, I know it says for right here we're supposed to do this one together. But I would rather leave you all with four problems to do on your own. Um, in reality, percent of change isn't too bad if you just follow the steps. All right, my YouTube people, I hope this video helps you. And I hope you have a great day. All right, bye.